so in this video we will be talking about the constraint derivation in the previous video we have seen the unconstrained derivation so this one will also be similar to that except uh, the account only have the access to particular services and here you can see there is an SQL server and we have the uh, SPNs for this server and only those SPNs are allowed for this server so I have this uh, C sharp code it's very simple similar to the uh, ASREP uh, finding so what we are doing is we are finding the accounts with this msds error delegate to so this property we are checking for any objects and we are printing those uh, objects so the remaining uh, is converting this user account control to these uh, corresponding flags we have already seen this here we are just printing the objects with this uh, flag uh, with this attribute not is equals to null if there is any value for this attribute of that object we are going to print that object so let's go and run this one and here you can see there is only one computer which is dedicated to the CIFS uh, that is the file share on this computer and here you can also see the flag trusted to ask for delegation now let's go and say test 2 so this test 2 user is normal user uh, now we need to set uh, change this 2 into a service account so we can simply put a service principal name as constrained uh, let's say testing uh, if there is any uh, service principal name then this account will be like a service account now click on apply and click on ok now we go and uh, run this again okay we did not find uh, anything because we are checking msds delegate de error delegate to so we need to delegate this user for some certain services and here you can see there are the options and we need to add the services to this uh, object now click on add now we need to find the uh, user objects or computers now let's search for win2016 that is a domain controller the domain controller will provide this CIF that is the file share now you can see the different services uh, offered by the domain controller now select the CIFS and click on OK now click on apply and click on OK if we go and run this again and here we get the another account that is the test2 and this test2 is dedicated to the CIFS on this win2016 text standard local so that means the test2 is dedicated to access the CIFS service on behalf of any user. So after this what we are going to do is we are going to use the rubius and here we have the command prompt of uh, test2. If I go and say who are my groups we are normal uh, uh, normal users we are not any domain admins. First we need to generate the uh, hash for this uh, user account uh, we can also dump using the mimic hash as well user test 2 and the password and specify the domain and now we get this rc4 hash now copy this and paste here so what we are going to do is now we are going to use a Kerberos extension called s4u that is self for user so what this means is uh, this user account test2 can request the tgt on behalf of any other user for itself so this can impersonate any other user for the service so we can use uh, rubius s4u so rubius also has this s4u option 
now we need to specify user that is test2 and rc4 hash and the next one is impersonate user we want to impersonate as the administrator and the domain is tech69.local and we need to specify to which service we want to ask the TGS so for the uh, getting the TGT on behalf of on behalf of this user we'll be using this S4U and after the getting that uh, uh, ticket we can uh, request for the TGS and after that we can uh, load that ticket into this memory so MSDS SPN that is CIFS rash win 2016.x69.local and after that we can use uh, PTT so this pass the ticket will directly load it into the session now if you hit enter and you can see ticket successfully imported so type krish to see the list of the tickets and here you can see we have the administrator uh, ticket as administrator user to the service CIFS now we can go ahead and reach the contents of this C drive so here you can see we got the list of all the contents of C drive so this is how you do the uh, constrained delegation so there are there will be some services we need to enumerate those services with this msds error delegate to option so you will get the accounts and we can dump the hash using mimic hash and using those hash we can impersonate the domain administrator user so this is very simple code similar to the finding the ASRF uh, uh, users we are just finding out for the attribute this one is not empty and if it's not empty we are printing the same account name and the contents of this uh, attribute this attribute can also contain multiple values here you can see this contain multiple values so we are just looping over through that and we are just printing them 